The Pope is beginning a historic trip to Canada where he's set to apologize for the Catholic Church's treatment of indigenous people. Pope Francis was welcomed yesterday by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and indigenous leaders. The Pope is seeking to atone for the church's role in the abuse of native children at government-funded boarding schools. Chris Lipsay will be traveling with the Pope this week and is in the Canadian province of Alberta. Chris, good morning. Good morning. Pope Francis is beginning his seven day trip here in Edmonton, the capital of Alberta. Today, starting around noon, he's meeting with indigenous leaders to address one of the most shameful chapters in Canadian history. He's expected to apologize for the rampant neglect, physical and sexual abuse indigenous children face in Canada's residential Christian schools, most of them run by the Catholic Church. From the late 1800s to the 1990s, more than 150,000 native children were taken from their families to attend these schools. The goal, to strip them of their culture and language in an effort to assimilate. Thousands are believed to have never made it home. Back in April, the Pope told indigenous leaders visiting the Vatican that he felt sorrow and shame for the role some in the church played in the abuse. But this will be the first apology on Canadian soil, something indigenous leaders have been calling for. Pope Francis will spend the rest of the week conducting both public and private meetings. And for many, this is a step towards healing, not to mention a very important apology in the very country where this cultural genocide took place. But for others, it's far too little and it's far too late. For CBS Mornings, Chris Livesay, Edmonton, Canada.